Bean set foot on the moon on 20 July 1969 with the American Apollo 11 mission. In fact, it was revealed in the Quran that such developments and achievements would one day be realized. And this was revealed 14 centuries before, at a time when there were no spacecrafts equipped with advanced technology. O company of jinn and human beings, if you are able to pierce through the confines of the heavens and earth, pierce through them. You will not pierce through except with a clear authority. Careful examination reveals that the verse emphasizes that humanity will be able to move into the depths of earth and sky, but only with a superior power. In all likelihood, this superior power is the superior technology employed in the 20th century. Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. As you see, you know, this is really, uh, it's in in unbelievable, like, you know, those Muslims, they have uh, they wanted us to make fun of them. They are working for. It. They are asking for it. So look what he what he did. The verse, the verse saying the opposite totally from what he said. Allah is challenging the human and the genie to go out of the zone of the earth, out of the zone of the earth, which means out of the earth. He is challenging them, and he's saying to them, "You cannot go without an authority. Authority." for this guy in the video became the power of the technology authority is technology now he is saying you cannot go pass out of the zone of the earth without my authority and the authority in here he is talking about it is his authority for people who will go at the end of the judgment day to heaven In here, <clears throat> for for the Muslims, just to make it, you know, just to make things up, they change the word authority to be technology. Now I will show you how we can prove their lies and how we can expose them. Very easy. As you see, this is the verse he was talking about. And here, it's very easy to show how people, you know, those Muslims, they lie always. As we say, always Muslims are lying. How? Look with me. This is the verse in the front of you. It says, "All you are simply of jinn and, uh, and men." If, if it be you can pass beyond the zone of the heaven and the earth pass ye not without authority shall you or shall ye be able to pass so Allah in here is saying it clearly challenging the human and the genie both together to go out of the zone of the earth this is a challenge this is not only saying you know what you might be able no he's challenging them to do it and he's saying then to them you cannot go out without authority authority of who you know when we talk in religion about authority god is talking saying you cannot leave without authority he is talking about his authority in the video you see how he switched the word authority upside down and he make it about technology you see how to try to fool you what the word technology have to do with authority Amazing, those people they like in, in, in honestly, the, I, I consider those people they are working against Islam. They spend millions of dollars, but the one who made those videos for sure he's a fool, and I guarantee you he have degrees. But you know having degrees doesn't make you smart. What the word authority have to do with technology? And in the same chapter we can expose them better even if you go down with me you will see in here it says on you will be sent O ye evil ones twins of a flame fire to burn and the smoke to shock no defense you will you will you have so you will not be able to go out of the zone of the earth why because Allah will shoot you with a flame of fire will burn you will smoke you and you have no defense you can't stop that from happening I will kill you if you try to go over the zone of the earth. So they showed you this verse. They changed the word authority to make it technology. By the you know, this is the upgrade of the Quran. The Muslims they are upgrading their Quran. Authority is technology, 
Anytime you see the word authority in the Quran, it's mean high tech technology. It's mean uh, you know window. It's mean uh, Vista. It's mean uh, 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 you know Microsoft. It's mean uh, Cisco. Authority became technology, and they did not show you the verse afterwards, saying clearly why they cannot go up the zone of the earth because Allah will shoot them and He will burn them. Now, if we go and read the explanation of the verse, you can read with me. Allah is a challenging. This is their explanation, not mine. I'm just reading. O company of jinns and human, if you are able to pass through to exit from the confines, the region of the heavens and the earth, then pass through. If you can pass through, show me a command. No, read with me, please. A command meant to challenge them. To what they are incapable of incapable so Allah is challenging him and look how full Allah is he thought that those they will be incapable forever because as you see he is sure they are incapable he is very sure they are incapable of doing you will not pass through except without, without a section Except with a section, I was a sanction, sorry. Except with some power. The power of who? This is the power of Allah. Now the Muslim will say, you see, it says power there. This is the power of the high tech. No. Because Allah is saying to you, and you have no power of such a thing. And you have no power. And that technology is something we have already. And Allah is talking to mankind always. This is the first of the Quran. It's not about the people in the time of Muhammad only. If so, this will be so stupid. It's about all mankind, genie and the human. I challenge you. And now, if we go to the verse after, we will see more and better understanding. This is the verse after. You will see, and there he says, uh, you know, against you, Allah will unleash a heat of fire which is going to burn you. And you will not have any defense of yourself to protect yourself from that. So, if you try to go to the zone of the earth, Allah will burn you. He will unleash a fire, like the fire of Allah, like dogs. You know, He will send His dogs, and those His dogs is fire. Now, let us show you what this fire is. Another verse saying clearly that this fire is a stars. Let us go and see it. This is 67, verse number 5. It says it clearly in here, and we have from old uh, uh, adorned the lowest heaven with lamps so Allah he created stars only in the lowest heaven so remember always if the Muslim says to you that the lowest heaven according to Islam is the atmosphere and Allah how he Allah he knew the atmosphere tell him shut up this is a lie why because there is something important in here if the lowest heaven according to the Quran is the atmosphere how Allah he says that he put the lamps in that atmosphere our atmosphere don't have stars if the stars get close, just close to our atmosphere, the earth will be burned. This is the first lie. Now we will continue. Made such a lamp as missiles to drive away the evil one. And have prepared for them a penalty of a blazing fire. So you see how Allah, He protect the zone of the earth from genie and the human to go out? If you try to go out, you evil. You will not be able to go out. Why? Because Allah will shoot you with His blazing fire. And what His blazing fire is, is the lamps, who He made them as decoration for the lowest heaven and as a missiles. And in here you will notice something very important. Allah is saying clearly that He will shoot the evil ones. The evil ones. Be careful. Now, the one who went out of the sky, out of the zone of the earth, who are they? They are the American and they are the Russian. And Allah, He did not shoot them. This means that the American and the Russian, they are not the evil one. The one who could not go there until now is the Muslims. So the Muslims are the evil one according to this verse. And let's tell me how Allah, He allowed the evil one to go out of the zone of the earth and He did not shoot them. So you see how they fool you? They try to make this verse is about discovery. Allah is saying in a long time ago, the human, they will go out of the zone of the earth. When he's saying the opposite, he's challenging them. If you try to go out of the zone of the earth, I will shoot you with a blazing fire. I will burn you. I will smoke you. I will shoot you by stars. And then here you ask yourself a question. If Allah will shoot us before even we leave the zone of the earth by a star, how the earth will survive? How big is the star? How big I am? How you can shoot a human or a genie who is small in the size of a human with a star? This is something very stupid to say. 
And in here, this is a very clear evidence that everything written in the Quran is a lie. Because if the Soviet Union or the Russian or the American were able to go out of the zone of the earth, conquering the defense of Allah, this is mean everything Allah He said and He promised He will do, He cannot do. Because already we are there and Allah is incapable to keep His promises to defend His region as He claimed. Shut up you infidel, our Quran is a miracle, he is talking about space, do you understand? No I don't understand, I just exposed your lie, one more to go, Jesus is Lord, Islam made for fool, by fool, I mean.